All right, hello everyone. It's Farrick, and welcome to day two of Wizard 101 on a budget. Just see if I can turn my sound on. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream today. We are on day two. Yesterday we did start Michael Silverflame, who is a death wizard, and we did have a few issues with you know the stream and also the trivia at the end. But I did decide to change a couple things for this. Um, for one, I did mute the uh, the follower notifications because uh, they were a little bit too big and in the way. They, they still are enabled, so if you are a new follower, you'll still see it pop up at the top, but the sound is off. And also with the trivia, I've decided that I'm just going to be doing that off stream at the end, like later. Um, and I did end up finishing all the trivia yesterday, so we have 175 crowns. My mic a little loud. Is it alright? Um, oh, okay. You just had your volume up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing the trivias after the stream now. Um, and people said it would be perfectly fine. So uh, we do have 175 crowns. Of course, the first crowns item I will get is the heart steel. So I'm just going to go to amulets, heart steel. Not amulets, sorry, Athames, heart steel. So for tomorrow's stream, I will have this on me. So, and it's probably one of the best Athames to have for quite a while. Um, so anyways, let's continue on our quest. We're trying to find, trying to talk to Private Quinn. And I will be now just uploading the full two hour streams onto my YouTube channel. So for anyone, any one of you that's watching on YouTube, um, you will be able to see the full two hour experience. Uh, I did have to edit out some parts yesterday, so it wasn't the full two hours because some of those were just, you know, things messing up, me not doing things as well. So. You have a cure? Great news. I've taken the wax from the candle. Defeat and I actually leveled up to level six right off that. Swift arrow. The potion should then break the curse. Good luck, wizard. All right, let's go defeat these fire elves. Elves, rather. Um, I could probably kill with will cast if it doesn't hit low end, so I think I'll use that. Professional streamer mode, you know it. Did I really just hit 95 again? I think that happened yesterday as well. When am I gonna have a face cam? Um, I'm probably gonna wait on that until I can find a good quality one in stock. They're like all out of stock right now, so I can't have that. Hey Jacob, how you doing? It's it's fine. We didn't really do a whole lot. I just basically explained that the trivias are now going to be happening off stream. Um, because I had a lot of issues with that yesterday and honestly, no one really wants to see trivias. So yeah, I, I did show how to do it. Um, you just have to basically go on wizard101.com, log into your account, and then underneath that it will say earn crowns, and then you can just pick a trivia to do. If you get at least 9 out of 12 questions, questions correct, you earn 10 crowns, and you can do 10 trivias per day. So, and yeah, dude, a lot of things are out of stock because of the pandemic. Like, I was actually, let me just, I'll use the will cast just in case. But yeah, like when I was actually, when the pandemic was like getting bad in my state, um, I remember I was, I was thinking about like ordering like some equipment for like recording and things like that. And it was just so hard to find things in stock. 
and actually my monitor one of my monitors like a couple weeks ago it broke and i couldn't find that monitor back in stock even though it was like a really common gaming monitor so i had to like wait a couple days for it to even come back in stock so all right let's go over to alcane's swift arrow But yeah, um, I another thing that I'm gonna be doing. I should actually probably get this Smith, so I don't forget it. Micro Center is that is where it's at. Micro Center is awesome. It's like an amazing store. The only problem is I don't have a Micro Center in my state. The nearest one is like hours away in another state, so I can never go to one. I would, I would really love to go to the Micro wizard. Center to get stuff. Because it literally has everything. Smith here, right? Yeah, I already... I believe I, I just got it, didn't I? I forgot to heal my health. And if you remember from last stream, I actually ended up dying. So maybe I'll just... Trap you. Use a heartbeat and then use a ghoul. Oh yeah, that's right. There's there's a little bit of a, a delay. Dude, I'm gonna die. I think I should be good here. I, I can just ghoul, get a little bit of health back, and then hopefully I draw a heartbeat. In fact, uh, see this is a problem. Wait, the will cast happens after, right? It happens after the ghoul, right? So I can use the ghoul and the will cast to try to kill this guy right away. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Let's see, hopefully. When is the best time to start Grizzleheim? So, I personally don't like to start Grizzleheim until... Dude, I'm almost dead. Okay, that's good. It happens after. But I personally don't like starting Grizzleheim until I've completed Dragonspire. And that's because once you complete a Dragonspire, uh, I feel like it's a lot easier to do Grizzleheim because you have like more health. And also, like the, I just like doing Grizzleheim all the way through Winter Tusk in like one run, because they're they're two relatively short worlds compared to all the other worlds, um, but they're also very important worlds, because you can get you get your some of your spells from them. Wait, that's doing like 70 damage per round, and I, I didn't even pull my heartbeat, so I'm gonna have to hope I don't take. I'm, I'm just gonna have to hope he fizzles for two rounds. I think I I'm already dead. Okay, he passed. All he needs to do is 59 damage. What am I going to do with Wisteria? So, Wisteria, I'm probably, for the sake here, let me just heal. I'm probably not going to do Wisteria anytime soon. Like, I'll probably go there just to get the training point quest. Oh, did he, wait, did he fizzle or pass? All right, well, I just got saved. He fizzled, dude. That's that's really lucky. I literally called it too. I was like, I just need him to fizzle and pass. Dude, I hope I have another ghoul because that is my highest damaging hit. Basira gives you levels to boost to 30. See, the thing is, like, Mushu already gives like quite a bit of experience. So I feel like if I just do Mushu, I could easily get it past. Why did I fire cap? That's a good question. Why did I fire Cat? He's a fire. I completely forgot bosses have like 50% resist. I might actually have to heartbeat or pixie. I'm probably just going to pixie again cuz I Oh, I think I'm dead. You can use you can use Sunbird? Oh, that did the max damage. When it does that animation, it does the max damage. Yeah, I should probably only put ghouls and traps in deck. Uh, well, hopefully I survive here. Fizzle? No way. No way, dude. No way. Two fizzles, two clutch fizzles in a row. 
All right, I'm my luck is a little bit too good right now, so I'm gonna fix my deck because I forgot to do that. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go will cast and thunder snake. I uh, know because that's gonna use up my tr I don't have any more ghouls. Okay, well, can I can I how do I cancel the will cast? Okay, there we go. I canceled it. I somehow canceled it. What spells do you get from there? And isn't Grizzleheim the best for couch potatoes and gold? How do you understand if a fizzle board even casted? So, um, for Grizzleheim, I mean, every school gets different spells. Um, I'm, I don't 100% remember off the top of my head which spells I get. Um, but, dude, am I going to die again? And I, I just have to kill him as fast as possible. But, you, you get very important spells, especially in, like, I think in Winter Tusk, you end up getting something like... Dude, how is he doing so much damage? Death gets Dark Pact? Yeah, I think I think you, you get, like, Dark Pact in Grizzleheim, and then, like... I forgot what you get after that, but they're they're pretty important spells. Um, and in terms of Grizzleheim, it is a great way to get Couch Potatoes. You don't get a whole lot, but... Dude, I'm so dead. Oh, there's no way he fizzled. Oh my goodness! No, now I fizzled. <laughs> Three fizzles in a row. I mean, yeah, I probably should have heartbeated, but this guy's just doing so much damage so quickly to me that I probably would have ended up dying anyways. Unless he fizzles again here. Although, no, there's no way I can, yeah. Oh, wait. Actually, oh my god, he passed. I'm being gifted this battle. I'm actually being gifted this battle. Three fizzles and two passes. I could, I could still easily die here. He's gonna sunbird me again. No, please hit low end, please hit low end. If he hits low end, I think I survive for the, okay, well I can't get that lucky. It has to hit high end both times. I can't be that lucky. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna fix my deck now. Like, I completely forgot to do that. Yeah, I can will- No, no, I forgot to will cast. I mean, I'm probably dead anyways, right? Maybe? No, I think this does 95 damage minimum. Yeah, oh, it did 135. Yeah. All right. Um, here, let me, this is a terrible deck, by the way. I should have only- why do I only have one ghoul? I have two ghouls, dark sprites. Get rid of Scarab, why would I want that? These are the only spells I should have in deck. Do I have any good treasure cards that I can use that I got for free? Take out Firecat, that's true, I also have to take out Firecat. I don't- when I was- when I was using Firecat, I was like, dude, this is such a smart move, it does so much damage. I forgot, I have to get health too. Actually, no, because they have health wisps there, right? Nah, it's not worth it. Am I going to farm for Mount Olympus gear once I hit level 30? For sure. Mount Olympus gear is like some of the best gear you can have until basically like legendary. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... You know, I'm not even going to get the mana ticks, too many wisps. If you actually go to Potion Motion, this is a, a good way to get, to refill your potions for free, really quickly. Alright, so you just have to like, randomly do it for like, a couple seconds until you get to like a thousand. And I have to do it twice, because once to refill the mana, and once to fill my potion. How can I tell something fizzled before, uh, sorry, beforehand? Um, so I've been playing this game for a while and there's some like visual cues for different schools, sometimes auditory cues to uh, where the, f like when a spell is, sorry, when a spell is about to fizzle, you can tell a little bit beforehand that it's gonna fizzle. So for death, 
or for fire right there the the spell will fizzle either if the the little like fire things that go around when you're casting the spell if they're really really bright or if they're really really dim that means the spell is about to fizzle for death if there's like this circular dot in the middle of the the little death symbol that means the spell is about to fizzle for myth you can also tell but like that one it's like, like it's like an auditory cue it happens at the end like let's see our globe theater right here but yeah for fire you can tell or for myth you can tell because at the end like the little the sound for the thing like it gets really really low quality why didn't i start with triton avenue so yeah i probably should not have started with firecat alley considering actually i'm not a fire wizard i'm a death wizard um but I don't know, I just, I just ended up doing a quest in Firecat Alley, and so I, I guess I just decided I'll just do Firecat Alley. But... What's the best way to go about this? I guess I'll just Death Trap. Because this game is fire. Yeah, this game is fire. Um, but yeah, I just, I just started with Firecat Alley, and then, like, I'm doing Triton Avenue at the end, just because I discovered how sick it looks with the new the new graphics updates so So now I can start hitting you with the ghoul twice in a row. I'm gonna trap again because I'm at good enough health to I think that's no that, that one powered but I'm at good enough health to not have to heal right away so I just realized my feed was a little bit too small so I didn't forgot to read out followers thank you the heist master 69 for following thank you zeth zethidai for following thank you stalking prodigy thank you random candy 2 thank you midnight hound 15 and thank you valorous pete for following yeah why is you why is twitch saying you have two viewers and there's 10 different yeah i don't i don't know why i'm even looking at like viewer users in chat and there's like there's this whole list of people i don't know why it's doing that yeah, Twitch is bugging right now. It's just... I probably shouldn't have used a, another death trap on you, but... Uh, I should probably... Uh, I should save it for the magma man. How do I follow? Is it free? Yeah, following is completely free. It just, yeah, you just click the... Just click the follow button it should be on the bottom right of like the video player and that just allows you to and you can like enable notifications um for now i typically stream i just stream this game this series the budget walkthrough and i stream it five days a week monday through thursday including saturday from 2 to 4 p.m eastern time No one ever says my name right. Uh, is it is it virus? I, that's how I've been saying it, virus. But I'm gonna, I've been saying it like that, and I didn't get it right, so I'm assuming that's not right. All right, this this run went a lot better than last run because I actually prepared my deck properly.
It is virus, but everyone says verves. Oh. Okay, so at least I've been saying it right. Bark skin boots. Okay, these are level five only. As you pour the potion into his I I remember. Tell him Alright. I think that's the end of Firecat Alley. see the elves again even if they are a bit no i never thought fire onyx studded boots okay these give health i'm like desperately in need of health i guess like i'm also really used to it's been a very long time since i haven't used the crowns gear um at lower levels so basically like once you get the crowns gear you can you keep it on your account and you can transfer it between wizards to the shared bank and I've just been so used ah, to always having a thousand health at a time I that, like, I never really realized that you have it's so easy to die with, like, half the health. Keep up the good work. Uh, we're gonna ignore these, because we don't need those quests right now. Let's see. I'm actually gonna go sell some of the extra gear that I have and see if I can start getting enough gold. To no, nah, I, I can't even do. I, I can't even buy good pet snacks right now, so I still have to wait off on that. But let's see if I can get like like some better, some better like equipment that gives me a little bit health boost. Let's see, bark skin boots, sixty-eight gold. That's not bad. I don't need these anymore because I already crafted them. Ooh. I should probably keep this. Then again, I can't wear that until I'm level 10, so I'm going to sell it. Fire Elf, don't need that treasure card. Pet snacks are giving me a pretty good amount of gold right now. Eric, what does a budget walkthrough mean? I am sorry, I'm new first time watching you and I really enjoy the stream. Definitely will watch you every stream. Thank you very much, Talking Prodigy. So the budget walkthrough is, it's basically just me playing the game on a brand new account without spending money on crowns. So I'm basically gonna show everyone how to play the game. And it's also gonna be most, pretty much solo the entire time, except for, you know, certain difficult dungeons. Um, Probably should have checked to see what other hats there were. But, yeah, I'm just going to be showing everyone how to play the game without spending a whole lot of money on crowns. Actually, spending any money on crowns. Um, I don't think these wands are any good. Is there any dagger that's worth it right now? I don't want to spend too much gold on these. I guess I will, like, these, all these health boosts will add up slowly, so, is there anything good here? How much does the, how much does the, how much damage does the ghoul do? It does 180. Let me see. Then again, is, is there one with lightning bats? Because the lightning bats does almost 300 damage, I think. Oh, there is. Yeah, dude, this is, this is totally worth buying. Because that's a lot of damage to have. Because I don't have, like, a good pet or anything right now, so. And for rings, I guess I'll take this. How long do I plan on streaming today? I'm going to stream until 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This, uh, this series is going to be streamed Monday through Thursday from 4, uh, from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So, it's going to be the same, the same time every single day. That's right, people were right. Um, the enchanted broom does, like the timers for mounts do go off, even if you're not on the account. So I only have 15 minutes left of this mount. So let's see, I have 724 health now. So hopefully I'll be dying a lot less. Hey, Amber the Wizhead, how are you doing today? So 
Cyclops Lane, Triton Avenue, Colossus Boulevard. Okay, so I did say I was gonna do Cyclops, or sorry, yeah, Cyclops Lane next because I wanted to save the coolest looking place in my opinion for the end. You can buy another at Zeke for like 2,000 gold. Save your crowns to buy Heart Seal. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I actually, um, I did the, the trivias, which I'm gonna be doing like after the stream now because it's not really that interesting and um so uh i'm gonna have enough crowns for the heart steel after the stream today so for tomorrow's stream i will have it oh i can buy the one day mounts okay two thousand gold that is a little bit expensive but i probably will have to end up buying one anyways because it is a little bit slow let's see who am i trying to talk to? oh that's right i have to get the quest from sergeant muldoon that's a fail only one viewer yeah to do twitch is like bugging out there's no way i have only one viewer right now i don't know why it says one viewer i also need the smith i need the smith from cyclops lane triton avenue and colossus boulevard so i haven't missed any of the previous smiths at this point yeah i also do get one on crocotopia but i am a little far away from that hopefully i will get enough gold Oh, that's Triton Avenue, but it's okay. I can accept both of them, so I don't have to always talk to him. How long will I use Heart Seal for? So, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to end up using that thing all the way until I get to level 56. Because, like, oh my goodness, dude, that troll literally appeared right as I was trying to cross. unfortunate but yeah so for the heart seal like there's there's no other athame in the game that gives that much resist i should have used this too I'm forgetting to use my will cast but uh until level 56 all the other athames the only like stats that they give they give like a decent amount of health and the power pips but honestly i feel like the five percent resist especially since like i won't be having an amazing pet for a while that's going to be so helpful in questing pegasus point from pigswick that one gives like healing and a lot of health and a little bit of power pip too so i'll, I'll see if like if that is if that's worth it what are you doing here only talented wizards like me should be think you have what it takes but Let's i still think the heart seal will just be are. so much more useful Professor that five Drake resist is a lot from the more than it looks every other student i've asked has been too afraid to go so i'm hoping for better from you here's the Battle dark cave quest dark i cave used to hate this quest i might still hate this and it's because like i feel like the haunted minions that you have to defeat in this like you have to just battle like 10 to 15 of them before even getting the drop and collect but i think they ended up fixing it that it doesn't it's not that grindy dude this place looks sick wow yeah nolan roasted us dude no one's kind of rude not gonna lie now please one shot Malister Athame is good for level 45. Malister. One. I'm just looking it up on my side monitor here. Okay, I did not end up killing. Athens. Nolan Stormgate. I got it first try. So the, I, I think I'm pretty sure they did end up like tuning down the grindiness of the defeat and collect quests at the earlier levels. Malister Drake's Death Edge. I do see an Athame. Ooh. You found the rune skull. I told 
Okay, so I'm looking at it right now. I'll read out the stats to y'all as I get into battle here real quick first. But you get it from Malastir and Dragonspire. It gives 188 max health, which is a lot more than the Heart Steel's 45 max health. It gives 10% power pip chance and 15% incoming healing, which, and it gives a circle socket, a tier, and a triangle socket. So I would say at that point, yeah, that's probably worth using. But the thing is, it's also dropped from Malastir, and there's no guarantee that he will be able to drop it. So I'm not going to farm the Great Spire over and over again to try to get it. Because think about it, literally five levels later, I'll end, or six levels later, I'll end up having the Bear's Claw of Death, which is a great Athame, so... All right, let's talk to Nolan Rudegate. What is this? A letter? It's addressed to Great Fire Bats. I hope they're. Oh, uh, is this where Professor Drake wants to wants me to wash his clothes or something? Yeah, dude, no one's a bully. What do you, Professor Drake? Yeah. Yep. He wants me to go the wash his clothes. Uh, grab his. He not wash his clothes, but grab his f his clothes that were just in the washer. Sorry for asking again, but what days did you say you're going to stream? And does every quest? When completed give pet xp yes every quest gives pet xp when completed and i'm going to be streaming monday through thursday and also saturday so i'm not going to be streaming friday or sunday but every other day of the week i'm going to be streaming from 2 to 4 p.m on this street uh, on this for this ah, series a message from the shopkeeper here you go the reason Professor i don't stream on those two days is because those two days at during these hours i am a little bit busy um so there is a chance that i could stream something on those days but it, it definitely won't be this series right here because this series, everything in it is going to be documented and it's I want it to be consistent so that if anyone does want to watch, they don't have to always, they don't have to, you know, they'll know like when I'll be streaming the series. So student like teacher makes sense. True. Nolan Rudegate. Hey JSK to Beast, how are you doing today? Certainly took you long. Professor Drake. Okay, so it looks like the live viewers thing finally fixed itself because I now have 48 viewers. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Hope you enjoy. All right, so now he wants to expel me from Ravenwood because he's just like his student. Ah, young Rude. wizard, it's good to see you. The headmaster reads. I will not expel you from the. You are not responsible for the. I fear there is something. Drake is of no use here, but you have been most helpful. Go back to Nolan Stormgate and help him I'm, straighten this out. I forgot what level you need to be for the shields. Let's see, I'm level seven. I think you need to be level ten to get these shield spells right here. Sabrina Green Star. It's 10. Yeah, it is 10. I also can't do a whole lot with my training points right now. Because I I believe you need to be like level 16 to get Tower Shield. So can't get that right now, unfortunately. I'm really impressed with your YouTube. Yes. <laughs> I can't speak. I'm really impressed with your YouTube stuff and enjoy the stream. Thank you very much, Steel Assault. Thank you. Oh wait, I have a teleport. Pet leveling is easier now, but it costs more. Yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting. Professor it's crazy, Drake like a hundred thousand gold for most fit, pets. But to do that, we need a gate pass. Maybe can you steal one from the Warhorns? 
All you have to do is defeat some. Yeah. Okay, our pet is enough. getting close to adult. Once we finally get a pet to adult, I need to start saving up and try to get that gloomy eye as fast as possible. I know there are warhorns back there, but I'd rather like Actually, I, I keep forgetting. Um, you don't like you can only get one mob per battle per wizard, wizard city. So I only need to touch one of them. 285 health. So these guys are a little bit more tanky. The premise of the game is wild because you just get to the school and have to fight the big bad evil Voldemort guy the second you start and every adult in the universe apparently needs a child's help with random quests. Yeah, you know, if you really think about it, it is kind of ridiculous. Like suddenly you have to be the one to save the spiral even though your very first encounter your headmaster literally had to give you rigged, rigged spells. Wait, why are you ice trapping? You can attack that guy. I can attack my own guy, you know? Let's see what he does. Okay, he's... He wants to attack the same guy, so I'm just going to attack this guy. Actually, his... Oh, is now is he going to attack my guy? Actually, I, I, I forgot. I can't just one-shot this guy with my spell, so... Or is he just not going to attack? Okay, he's just not going to attack now. What's my top five worlds? I haven't really taught. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't really thought about like top five favorite worlds, but my favorite world in the game. It would have to be between... Hmm. Okay, it would be a three-way tie between Chrysalis, Zephyria, and Mushu. And I'm not counting the later Arc Worlds because I haven't quested that many Wizards to max. So anything after Chrysalis, uh, I'm not including in the ranking. So, because I feel like those worlds are probably like really good anyways um because they're they're much more they're much newer and much more polished oh you're healing i don't know what to do i guess i'll just kill my guy minus avalon with chrysalis is a close second I like Avalon. It's just that I, I am probably biased just because like when I first used to play the game, I would basically like I would always stop questing my wizards once I got to Avalon. So. And that was like mainly for like PvP reasons, because like I remember when I did this, it was when like critical was really broken and starting Avalon. Once you get to level 76, you can craft these hats that give you so much critical. And it was fun to like just get wizards to that level and just stop. And just do PvP and like just crit on a bunch of people. Let's see, what are you gonna use? I could try and solo Mount Olympus at level 30, but that is going to be really difficult. So I'm probably gonna try to get at least one or two other level 30s with me. It it is totally doable to solo Mount Olympus at level 30, but it would just I, I think it would be like unnecessarily hard and it's also not that difficult to find people to farm with are you kidding me i fizzled wait this is 100 percent. i might as well just use that and then heartbeat myself chrysalis gave me depression at the start yeah it Chrysalis, it, it is like, it's a little bit like boring at the start, but I feel like it gets really interesting. And like, I just really like the, the dungeon where you're crossing the, the sea or whatever in the Crescent Beach where you have to board the, I forgot the thing's name, but it was like that, that fish thing that brings you through the Starfall Sea or whatever. 
fairy wand. Okay, this is, um, let's see. Oh no, my mount is gone. How much gold do I have? Yeah, I might have to walk without a mount for a little bit. The fairy wand. Oh, okay, so it basically gives me better versions of all these spells, but I lose my accuracy, so I don't think it's really worth it. I'm not going to go with these spells. Thank you, Mighty Hulk one for following. I just came from YouTube. Keep up the good work. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. You got the pass. Great job. I'm glad. Oh. The one thing I don't understand here is they make Romulus look like this really stupid person or Cyclops, not person. They make him look really stupid in this quest. But later on, when you go to do Mount Olympus, he sounds like this like really intellectual like Hey guys, like, all right, you're going to go to, you're going to go to Mount Olympus. You must do this and this and all these challenges. Did I forget the Smith? Um, I'll go get the Smith after. I'll just mark a location. There's actually the guard fight because four enemies. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's actually, those guys also have like a decent amount of health, so. Yeah, Romulus GPA just shot up. His IQ shot up, dude. Like. Uh, well, you don't <laughs> a war horn to me, but uh, this pass looks good, so I guess you could go in. Like. His IQ points just skyrocket once you start Mount Olympus. Oh no. I'm gonna have to hide the stream real quick, or the display real quick, sorry. Let's just hide game capture for a second. Sorry. There's like, there's a, a max level wizard here. I do not want to be boosted. I appreciate the offer, but you know, we, we gotta, we gotta challenge ourselves here. He just educated himself in the time between maybe. All right. We got to free these kids. We got to defeat this guy. This is not going to be an easy battle. Let's see what we can do. I do have lightning bats now, so I can actually just one shot the minion with the two pip spell. So I'll just focus all my traps on this guy and one shot the his minion. I'm planning on lore farming maybe later once I can lore farm very efficiently. Lore farming is probably actually just going to end up being like holiday stuff and like I'll I'll end up like doing the lore master one time just to do it and complete the quest like not too later on, but in terms of like farming it to try to get spells I'm probably here. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill this guy early. I'm probably just gonna wait off on trying to farm for spells like when it's like a holiday where the drop rates are increased or if or like when I'm max and like if I have nothing else to do like on a certain day I can floor farm. How do I get lightning bats? I just I bought an amulet from the bazaar that gives you a slightly buffed version of lightning bats which does like 40 more damage than the train spell. So it's pretty nice to take out these minions a lot easier. Although I did, how did I lose so much health so fast? I'm glad I got that gear to give a health boost. Yeah, taking like 400 damage at this point. I'd only have 100 health left if I didn't have this. I normally go the lightning bats into tower shield at 40 and then faint at 50. Tower shield at... What do you mean by that, Lucifer? Um, now I end up drawing my spell. Wait, could I? No, I, I don't think I can will cast into dark sprite to kill yet.
Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, the the tower shield. Yeah, the tower shield amulet is good at 40. Is it? Isn't it like a 55 tower shield at 40? That'd be pretty good. All right, we're gonna do this and this. Yeah, faint faint amulet at level 50 is really good. You get another faint to stack. In fact, with this free to play, not free to play, but with this budget series, it's gonna be necessary for me to use that amulet. I finished 261 plot and glitched all the likes about it with Glitch King Parsley without the medium plot. That's really good. 261 plots. That's that's also good that you use 61. Um, because that's the like if you want two plots, that's the maximum amount you can have without having to buy like a brick of brack elixir. Oh, did I really not kill him? Nine health? Are you serious? Just use this to finish him off. I once went into level 10 PvP and someone had a life goal pet with all HP talents and he had a base health of 1.9k. Yeah, I've I've actually seen one of those those health boost pets. Those are pretty crazy and like honestly for the entire Wizard City, the best pet you could probably have is either an all damage pet or just to make the game easy, literally just have a double resist all health pet. Thank you for freeing us. Hey. Like socket, a spell defying or whatever, and then have four health talents and spell proof. Yeah. All right, let's teleport. We do have to talk to Nolan and get the Smiths. I did not forget about that. Ferric, if you could go, please speak to William in Krakatopia. If you wish to continue your studies, you should go to speak with William in Krakatopia. He will be happy to continue your training. Um, unfortunately for proof and defy jewels, um, there's only two main ways to get them. I'm sure Professor Drake, we should. All right, I'm gonna go tell the headmaster. Ooh, what's this raiment though? Okay, never mind, it's nothing good. Um, but yeah, the only two ways you have to either be in Mirage and farm like different bosses for them, or you have to. The only other way I think is if yeah. So there's two other ways. You have to have the Star Jewel Blossom, which is a plant that you can only get from the, in my opinion, very overpriced. Uh, Farley's gardening pack and it's such a rare drop to get from it, too And the only other way is if you have the brace defy Kroger jewel a $20 jewel and you redeem it in the month of July You get the spell defying and brace Make us brace spell I I seriously just forgot to get the The smith didn't I I teleported without getting the smith. Yep. I I even said I wouldn't forget and I just forgot Let's go get it. I have a level one with a double resist double health pet. That's that's overpowered. That's how you do I'm I'm pretty sure that's how you would do level one PvP. And there's also like level one crowns gear that like gives health and resist too, I I'd imagine. From like packs. Malorn is calling you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm level 8. It's time to get a new spell. I don't remember what spell it is. It's probably like... It's probably Death Prism. I, I seriously just went into Triton Avenue. I... <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Or Dream... Oh, actually... Yeah, Dream Shield. Yeah, it's actually it's not a spell quest at level eight. I don't think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's Dream Shield. Which now that I think about it, would have been nice to have for Cyclops Lane. But then again, I did end up finishing it without doing it. Right now, I'm just gonna sell stuff. See how much gold I can get. Fairy's wand. Okay, that doesn't sell for much. One thirty six. Okay, unfortunately, it does look like I'm gonna have to still walk around without a mount for a little bit because it is 2,000 gold to get a temporary mount. So. Try 
trying to game while reading chat is like texting while driving yeah yesterday i was doing that a little bit too much that was part of the reason why i kept on running into battles yesterday okay like are you gonna walk across this can i cross safely yeah i can cross isn't the blade level seven no the blade the blade is it's it's definitely a little bit after well if you are free to play, if you do like all the side quests and like farm field guards in Haunted Cave without doing like Winterbane or anything like that, you can definitely get to level 12 easily. And you don't have to like go to any crowns place to do the quest for it. But for different schools, the blades are at different levels. Death is pretty lucky that it gets it early. A school like Ice doesn't get it till like level 38 or something crazy. So. Just gotta farm the Kraken for those one day mounts. See, I'm hoping. Let me check. How much gold does it cost for the cheapest crowns mount? Where are the mounts? Right here. Permanent mounts. Actually, how much. Can I buy rental mounts? Gold. Oh. Wait, hold on. Wait, this is a rental mount for 10,000 gold? No way, dude. Wow, the cheapest rental mount. How much is a permanent mount then? Oh my goodness. That's insane. 50,000 gold for a chestnut pony. Wow. See, and then I'm assuming for you it's like oh it's only 1,000 gold oh but that's plus 20 I mean all these are plus 20 so I mean I'm close but I still have to do a little bit more questing and I'd imagine that by the time I get enough gold to be able to buy the mounts I'll end up getting the one day mount from Rockatopia anyways Yeah, ice ice is a struggle like you have the lowest damage and you don't even get a blade until really late. Also, one thing they did train they did change. Before you used to have to you used to talk to Susie Griffinbane and you'd have to rescue this guy. Now you talk to him. I'm lucky you came along. And you have to save his sister instead. Can you create a diversion so I can try to break through? Attack the minions, and I'll meet you by the river. Okay, I'll join you up. I can just one shot you. If it doesn't hit low end. Thirty K, a hundred K. Oh, okay, yeah. For the the gold price. Do you recommend saving crowns from the trivia and buy places or buy membership? Um So I'm pretty sure a membership elixir is super expensive and you could You could save all your crowns and do that, but you'd have to like make sure that you're gonna grind the game like crazy during that membership and get the most out of it as you can um in terms of buying places that is a definitely a way to play the game free to play to colossus boulevard smith hope this guy doesn't hit low end and hope i hit high end like someone else joined here what made no sense Oh, how does one get to Kraken? You have to do a side quest to get to him. Fun fact, you don't have to do that really annoying quest where you have to defeat five rotting fodders. Yeah, I mean, I'd imagine they get rid of that because they did want to make some of these things a lot less grindy. Like, at least like the questing things. Of course, gear and all that stuff is still going to be really grindy. 
You saved 50k from trivia? What do you mean? Yeah, uh, w worlds get extremely expensive later on. Oh, this guy's just gonna one shot with troll. Wait, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm just gonna attack in case he fizzles. When you had to collect, grind that collect quest in Firecat. Are you talking about the haunted cave one or the, sorry, the dark cave one? Because that one, I remember it every single time I did it, the little minion things, the haunted minions, you'd have to defeat them like 10 times before it gave you the collect. Oh, it might've also been the magma men one. Yeah, that dude, like every single defeat and collect quest in the early worlds was like ridiculous before. Yeah, like for, for Wizard City, like when, when I first started playing the game before I had memberships or anything, I wish they had the Earn's Crown thing back then. Because it would have been nice to be able to go to Firecat Alley and Coloss uh, Cyclops Lane. Because now you can just, it only costs 750 crowns to go into those places, so. Like, just save up for, for like a week. And you can get them. Thanks for the help, wizard. I wouldn't have gotten here without you. I, I couldn't help. I really? How? You're very loud. Duncan Grimwater, necromancer. I was drawn here by. I wish Malastare were here. He Malastare is alive. And Malastare was a. Can we talk about? You're right, wizard. Bring me that wand, and I think I can get to the bottom of this. Electric eel. What? I thought those were in like Crab Alley. Wait, there's electric eels in Triton Avenue? What? Cool. That's pretty sick. 150 health. So they're like rotting fodders basically. I don't have any more will cast stuff. I guess I used it all up. Oh yeah, they used to have, they used to have skeletons here. Like the, the armored skeletons or whatever. open chat right yeah I do I can't even use an attack spell he sounds like Farrick Yeah, Cyclops Lane was pretty was pretty fast. All right, we got Susie's wand. I should probably use my mark locations thing a little bit more. Save time. Because this is really tedious not having a mount. Look at all these 
people with their fancy mounts astral unicorn the music sounds epic we've got to find my sister we've got to find my can sister. i Excellent. not talk to you still, I, when I was, that does, they were wearing strange amulets that were crackling with storm energy bring me those amulets and i can cast my spell Um, the thing with Hades gear is that I feel like, like, even, it does take a while to get from level 90 to 100, but I feel like it's too much of a grind, unless you're making, like, a specific equipment set, because they do give a lot of pierce, the Hades gear. Um, but I feel like it's too much of a grind to get them, considering you get some of the best gear in the game literally 10 levels later. Ass. I can just one shot this guy with the pool. I'm literally gonna use him against himself. What is that? That that Spider-Man looking at Spider-Man uh image, the meme. Why is it still playing the Wizard City music? Does it just always do that in this place? You have to defeat Scarlet Screamers now for a quest. I'm pretty sure you had to do that anyways. Like you had to get a you had to get a fully charged Lumina crystals. Oh, but now you have to repair and get cogs. Interesting. The heck is going on in the the chat right here? <sighs> if you haven't beaten Triton, oh, really? So yeah, the Safaria crafting is a little crazy. Like, it's it costs. I, it was it's like fossils or something like that. It's just crazy expensive. Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna do all these challenges. Like, I'm doing crafting as I go through each world. But if a crafting quest does become a little bit too grindy and difficult at a certain world, I might do it at a later world. Later world. Oh, I got... I only collected one from that battle. Finished that at level 85. I can't use Thunder Snake. Oh yeah, potent trap TCs like you do. Those are kind of a grind to get. I personally have a lot on on a lot of my higher level wizards on my other accounts, um, just because I, I never have any use for them, and yeah, I just don't have any use for them really. A double reagents is a really useful member benefit. I actually used that when I was farming for a dragoon gear. And I ended up getting, I ended up using it so that I had like 999. I literally maxed out on extract. And since I was quad screening it, I was doing it on four different accounts. Um, two of them were my account, two of them were my brother's accounts. Um, I ended up getting 999 extract on four different wizards during the double reagents. Lumina crystals at the mill. What do I think is the best scion spell? Probably um, in PvP, it has to be Scion of Death. That's at least that's like the most used scion spell right now. It's like Scion of Storm, it's easy to counter, just make sure you have a blade on. Lumina. Scion of Fire, like Fire Wizards these days, they just end to end up like a freeding and like using FFA. 
Scion of Myth is also really good. Uh, that's probably like, like tied with Scion of Death. That is like the second most used Scion spell. Can I add you on your level one? If if I end up seeing you like around like and you send me a friend request, I do have friend requests open. I just don't want to be like questing with someone because I do want this to be like a solo challenge as if I was just a, a brand new player with no friends. So burning rampage into a free spam. Uh they nerfed burning rampage, like and Technically, they nerfed it twice. Once was by making it two rounds later, but the second nerf was just having turn based because now you can literally always react to it. I'm going to trap and ghoul still because. Actually, let me calculate. How much damage does a ghoul do? 160 times 1.3. 208 so a ghoul will not be able to one shot the scarlet screamer and since she didn't use since she didn't use a storm shield i'll just one shot her right here yeah you are forced to triage or shift but like i feel like a lot of people carry triage these days in pvp anyways so I'm just gonna risk it actually why did I do that I forgot this cost a pip now I can't one shot our next turn I did hit max though 148 is that enough to kill her with dark sprite um it might be A free is the best rank 8 spell. Yep. It is. They, King's Isle actually in the round table with Blake. They actually said that they're going to end up nerfing it. It's going to be at 1 HP. Oh, wow. And I don't even think I have any more dark sprites. Why do I have so many pixies? There's, uh, there's no way I'm ever going to cast three pixies in a battle. Medusa, Shield Stun, Medusa. Well, I don't know what's a really funny combination that you, or a combo that you could pull off in PvP. Medusa, Stun, Medusa, Stun, Stun, Ninja Pigs. That would be a really fun combination to pull off. Yeah, they're going to nerf a free. They said they're going to nerf Abominable, Weaver, and a free. Did I see the new Colossus Boulevard graphics? No, I have not. I will end up seeing them soon, hopefully. All right, still have to collect one more primary coil. I'll, I'll just enter this battle so that it is a little quicker. I think actually no this won't one shot I forgot about that what are you doing amber you're just gonna attack that one I might as well attack it as well since I don't think you're going to be able to one-shot. She's saying, You okay? 
Did I miss a turn? When you said you were looking into if the base pet was necessary, what did you mean? Like, what is the alternative? So, uh, it was me, um, basically skipping step one and just using a generation one blood bat to see if you needed to make that pet. And I've already concluded that step one is highly recommended because... Wait, did I really fizzle? I'm just gonna use this in case you fizzle. But yeah, so I, I concluded that um, you do need to do it because I currently have the entire talent pool copied in like just four hatches, but there's just this one stat that's like at 150 that is basically going to be RNG to get it up. So I might as well just like already have a blood bat too that has the max stats, right? So yeah, from, from that little experiment that I did. This was not on stream or like recorded or anything. This is just something I was doing for my own knowledge. Um, and then like if it ended up being that you don't need to make it, I probably would have made like a video on it or posted something about it, but nothing changed in my opinion on the pet guide. So, okay, cool. Because I literally, yeah. And like, once you have the blood bat, like you don't have to ever make it again, so might as well have it. Wait. Okay, it was telling me to go back for some reason. Now, put those cogs to good use and get the old wheel turning. All right, we're ready. Here, pull this lever and look past that lumen and crystal. Ah, well done, business. Thanks to you, I'm here. You are. All right, level nine. I am going to get the spell, but I'm going to wait until... I'm just going to wait until, like, I can get more than one spell at a time, because Dream Shield is not super useful just yet. Illumina Crystal! This should be just what... The Illumina Crystal will... It's working! Dude, this image is sick. I will say that this is a pretty I can see cool image. That. But what was that horror? That's the ho They should add member benefit elixirs to the crown shop. Don't they already have member benefit elixirs, or is that only in Scroll of Fortune? But no, they, there's no way they're gonna make it gold because then the game would be completely free to uh, it would essentially be completely free to play i mean it would be cool if they did that but their business model is not like free to play it's it's pay to it's free to download and check out and get a feel for a little part of the game but to actually play the game it's memberships And yeah, once you get to a certain level, farming is so easy, like for gold. Like once you get to like Winter Tusk, it becomes so easy to farm for gold that um, people would just be able to always have memberships. See, I do want to check out how much resistance Rotting Fodder have. Rotting Fodder has only 10% storm resist, which means I can actually one shot you with lightning bats. Might as well just do that. Triton Smith? That is true. Thank you for reminding me. for a turn am i gonna do sunken city um probably not because it's not a necessary part of the game am i gonna do z quest in all the worlds yes because training points are very important in this game
Yeah, Sunken City is a little bit long. Like, the storyline is... It's not bad. But... Like, for this series, because we're focusing... We're not really focusing on the storyline, because... I feel like it's not necessary for me to focus on the storyline, because... There are already so many, like, walkthroughs of the game. I wanted this one to be a little bit different than all the other ones. So... Did I get my new death spell? Um, I'm pretty sure it's just Dream Shield. It's not like an actual spell quest. So I'm probably just going to wait until level 12 until I actually have a spell quest to get the spell. Or level 10, because I, I think I get Banshee at level 10, right? So. Let's be real, we're all just waiting for you to fight Belloc. Um, that's, that's probably not going to be possible for me to do solo unless I have like massive balance resist. So I'm probably going to like see if I can find another person that's there also trying to do Belloc. But I'll see like... I'll probably end up coming up with- I'll probably just end up buying, like, bizarre- Like, I once I get to Belloc, I'll have already completed Winter Tusk, so gold won't be a problem at that point anymore. So, I'll probably end up buying, like, Balance Resist gear and showing you how you can do Belloc properly. Wait, I have a teleport to try and have. Yes, let me go get the smith as well. Oh wait, I think I went too far. I was expecting her to be back here. Triton Smith is back here. Oh yeah, the the Azteca one is yeah, the Azteca one's gonna be really tough. For things that are clearly not easy to solo without having to like spend a ton of time preparing for it, I'm just gonna do the easier thing and try to find someone that is also working on it but wait where's Susie is she right here whoa this is new what is this where am I even oh, I'm up here wow this is definitely new worse than I thought you can get to Ravenwood and back quickly by pressing the mark button. Use oh. the return to commons button to get back to the commons. Oh, I could have saved gold. I didn't know I would get this as a quest reward. Yeah, Belloc is the guy that deals damage if you don't hit him every round. And he does a lot of damage. Yeah, my death spell? Yeah, I might as well since I'm here. Yeah, the Ra that does like a thousand damage per turn. Not easy to solo, but I, I will try it. At least for the first one, because I'm pretty sure like it's not too bad. As they say, knowledge is once there, search around the graveyard. Oh, it actually is a spell quest. Remember. Graveyard wouldn't scare Wait, what? Dude. At least not a brave one. Okay, I guess there was a spell quest for level 8. Um, let me get rid of these. And actually, let me just fix up my spell deck now. Um, I should not need that many pixies. And at this point, Heartbeat is not really that useful of a spell. I'm just going to get rid of it. Do I have any good treasure cards yet? No. Alright. Um, let me just go back to Triton Avenue. I'll do this uh, gravestone quest um, once I get to like Lord Nightshade. That's where I was.
You get death blade now? Is, I thought that's level 12. Maybe it is death blade. I don't know. You rescued Susie. Oh. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've it's trained a death wizard. I'm assuming your other stuff is just a side quest. Is it faster to teleport to the commons? I don't know. Maybe. I'll probably just like at this point, I'm almost done with wizard city. So I might as well just save my gold and just use the crocotopia amount when it, when I get there. I know how to beat Belloc solo. Farm couch potatoes, train a proof, defy, balance proof, balance ward pet. Farm trivia and buy packs till you have Jade. You're not wrong. You're actually not wrong. That is a way to do it. Don't know if anyone asked, but are you planning on doing Colossus and Crab Alley? I will not be doing those because there isn't anything that you can get out of them. I will unlock the Colossus Boulevard gate just to get because one of the smiths is there for the training point quest. But other than that, I won't. Because they're not necessarily to... They're not a necessary part of the game. They're mainly just there for storyline. So... Everyone's heard of Belloc, but what about his cousin Belosh? Belosh is a lot easier. His raw actually does a lot less damage. I mean, the fight itself is probably harder because I'm pretty sure he has like a bunch of minions. But his raw cheat is definitely not as bad as Belloc. To get your prism, you need Colossus. I'm pretty sure... Colossus. Like Coloss Colossus Boulevard. Uh, I'm pretty sure from Colossus Boulevard, you end up getting the Dispel and Reshuffle spells. I don't think you get Prism spells from there. You have to unlock Crab Alley. You don't have to uh, do the Crab Alley quests to get down there anymore. This guy's a death. I'm not high enough level to have Death Shield trained. Wait, I don't have Death Prism. Fool. You dare to defy foul games? Yeah, I don't have Death Prism. Darkness, your last sight so I'm actually gonna... I'm pretty sure this is the Death so Prism quest it. right here. So I'm gonna go get this spell because this battle is gonna be hard without Death Prisms. Mark a location. The spell quest for Prism requires you to talk to... Really? For Death Prism? No way. Let me check that out. I could have sworn I used to have it when I was free to play. I could have sworn. Okay, you actually get it from Sweet Revenge, level 12 quest required. So, what do I get at level 8 then? Is it Deathblade? I, I, oh, it's Deathblade. Yeah, level seven. Okay, so level seven is Deathblade. So Death Prism is level twelve. So I'm gonna have to use. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like use my lightning bats and th I'm gonna have to enable some of my other spells here to try to take him out. I don't have Death Prism yet. And I don't want to spend gold on treasure cards. But now that I know that I have Deathblade, I, I might as well get it. Pre-quest for Sweet Revenge, you need to talk to Kirby Longspear. Make an impression. Really? Wow. I never knew that. Well, now you can clearly tell I have not made a death wizard in a while, so. Uh, 
Is there a faster way to get to Haunted Cave? Sure there is. Yeah, reshuffle is in Colossus Boulevard. It is. Okay, I might I might end up buying a death prism because I feel like it will be too hard to or not too hard, but I feel like it'll take a little bit long to do foul gaze without death prism. I feel like if if your school's boss has 50% resist in Wizard City, you should get your death prism as your your prism spell as one of your first spells. See, this is this is one thing that I just realized is not so great about death. There's not a good side uh secondary school for you to pick right away. When you're death. So if you find it, end up fighting a death boss, then you have to you have to like use treasure cards and stuff like that for certain battles. Yeah, and balance. You just don't even have prisms. Balance is. Yeah, you, you do get all types of damage for balance, but you also, like, don't get them right away. Then again, you also don't face many balance bosses too hunt. early. Mm. But still, I mean, balance is definitely one of the hardest will solo. There we go. <laughs> you got this spell. Losses Boulevard Smith. But I'm gonna go to Old Town, give myself Death Prism. And yeah. What is Wizard 101 on a budget? So this series, uh, it's a brand new account. I'm going to be showing everything from gardening to PVP to pet training to just questing on a brand new account with only buying the $10 a month membership. No buying any crowns. And the only way I'm going to get crowns is by doing trivia. All right, let's see. Treasure cards. These are so expensive. Death Prism, 270 gold. That's not too bad. I'll get it. What other account do you have? Um, I have two other accounts that have all my normal wizards on them. Um, I have a level 102 Death. I mean, sorry, not Death. I have a level 102 Storm. A level 76 Death. A level... 65 fire that I'm currently trying to get to max. Um, a level 100, a level 100 life. Um, by the way, my level 100 life, I think I ended up going like 28, 28 and three to get to Warlord on that wizard. So I only lost th three times. You can also get 100 crowns a day by watching ads. So let me actually check. Can you... I don't see the earn crowns thing up here. I guess I have to have it enabled. But the earn crowns thing is very glitchy. Like, it doesn't work as consistently enough for me to really be able to use it that effectively. Still discard one of my death blades. I have to, oh, I have to turn it on? Okay. Oh, yeah, see, okay, wait, so if Steam accounts don't have the earn crown, wait, so do they have, do they not have earn crowns for, like, the website either? Can you not log into, oh, yeah. Okay, you don't have to watch video for crowns, but do you have the, um, do you at least have the trivia for crowns? I just realized Ghoul's only going to do like 291 damage. 
even with a prism. But then again, he also has like some boost, so it'll do a little bit more than that. Let's see. We're going to death trap him. Let me check foul gaze. Foul gaze wizard 101. He has 20% life boost. So ghoul is going to do. He's going to end up doing 349 damage, maybe three fit. Maybe it rounds it up to 350. I also don't think I have any death damage giving gear, right? Yeah, no, no damage giving gear. So unfortunate, but I will use this on you to get a little bit of health back and I can always finish with lightning bats. Do I still do PVP? I haven't done much of it recently, but I will eventually end up doing PVP on this series though. So, okay, so you can still do trivia. Okay, so in that case, since Steam users, did I fizzle? I probably fizzled. Since Steam users won't have the ability to watch videos, I'm also not gonna do the watch videos for crowns. And also it's, it's also been like kind of buggy when I have done it in the past, so breaking out the calculator i just open a google chrome tab google chrome is like the best calculator yeah 349 damage there you go calculated and actually calculating damage once i get higher into like a higher level into this series calculating damage is going to be a really important thing All right, so I can just finish him off with the lightning bats. I'll do that. Or he, cause I'm pretty sure he can use ghoul. So I don't want him to use steel health spells. All right, you're dead. I don't have a TI 84 C platinum edition on standby. I have a TI 84, but I mean, it's like, if I'm already on the computer, it's faster to just mouse over to the other monitor. And quickly type in like 160 times 1.4 to calculate a death blades increase rather than you know reaching over on whatever desk my calculator is and typing in you know the same thing so all right not bad see i haven't died a single time since i did the gear upgrade so all i have to do is be a little bit more prepared and i won't have those issues Oh, this is my brother, isn't it? Yeah. My brother's wizard. Am I going to do golem tower? No, just because it's not important to the... Um, it's not really important in, like, helping you get... Helping you improve at the game faster. I actually just realized I'm going to need to buy another death prism because I'm going to have to fight Lord Nightshade soon. It's the final boss and he's death. Let's see, how much does like a Banshee card cost? Because I don't think I'll be high enough level. I might as well get this just so that I can one shot. Actually, you know, how much is how much is Vampire? That would be even better. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll I'll just get this. Dude, Lord Nightshade's gonna be hard because he has field guards who can use Storm Shark. Right, did I get Death Prism? Yes, I did. All right, time to talk to Merle. I should have probably marked a location to save a little bit of time. Am I going to use monstrous TC on my spells? The reason why I don't want to do that is because it would become expensive to buy a lot of them the tower key. My reading of the to be able to farm regularly with them. So, and by the time I can gold farm effectively, um, I'll be at the level where I can just walk into Celestia and buy them anyways. So. All right, storm drain tower time. I'm going to get a potion just in case. Uh, 
Hey, can you add me as a friend? Um, if if I see you, if you find me walking around, you can just send me a friend request. I'm not going to buy a potion. It's a waste of gold. But yeah, if you see me walking around, you can send me a friend request. I will accept as long as my friend list has space. But I do have teleports turned off because I don't want any help with this series from higher level wizards. Um, so. But I will accept friend requests that, you know, people can like see where I am and stuff. So. Oof, one hour, 30 minutes late. That's okay. Um, I will be uploading this stream, by the way, on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Farrick. Um, and I'm going to try to not do it at like 11.30 p.m. this time. But you also joined at a good time because I'm just about... I'm just about finishing Wizard City, so... actually just watching live stream for yesterday on your youtube yeah i'm gonna today's live stream will, th this live stream will hopefully be uploaded uploaded a lot earlier than yesterday i'm gonna i have work at 5 p.m so what i'm gonna end up doing is as soon as the stream is over i'm just gonna upload this straight to youtube i started recording this at a lower bit rate so that i wouldn't have to render the video and then upload it so hopefully that will decrease the upload time but the quality will still be good I'm gonna use house interactables to get snacks if I can find a house on like the wizard city housing browsing thing then I'll do it if it's like easily if I can get it to it easily but I'm not gonna have those kind of houses since this is a budget series Port to my fire. I'm at Triton already. I, I, like I said, I don't want to use any help for this series. So. Can people gift me packs? I talked about this in the stream yesterday. I don't want you guys to gift me packs. If you do end up gifting them, they're just going to sit and collect dust in my gift box because I'm not going to open them. Because think about it. If a new player is playing the game, they're not going to have people adding them and gifting them packs. So like, why should I do it? Or why should I have people gift me packs? Can I turn gifts off really? I mean, I'll turn it off so that no one accidentally, like, does it. It's on the website? Alright, I'll see. I should make a frequently asked question. Yeah, that... That's actually a really good suggestion. Thank you, Virus. I actually, my Twitch, I have not added like any stuff at the bottom. I should, I should really do that. Here, I, I have work for a few days. So what I'll end up doing is either this Friday, since I won't be streaming. Actually, no, Friday I'll be pretty busy. Ooh, two red mandrake. Not bad. Um, This Saturday, since I don't have work after the stream or maybe even before the stream, I'll end up uh, making graphics and adding an FAQ section. Is the Spectre Lord pet that gives OP Arctic Zilla? I mean, I can, I'll, I'll look at it later on. But for now, like the the pet that please don't join by the way, um, the pet that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try to get first is the Gloomy Eye, because it gives. I am having a vision. Let me just make sure I'm prepared. Oh, I just got pulled right in, so I guess not. All right, so probably not going to end up using dark sprite. I should not have done that because I just realized I can't use lightning bats on this guy. So let's prism you right away. Yeah, maybe two freak me two separate FAQs, one for questions not pertaining and one pertaining. Yeah, that's that's a really good suggestion. I'll I'll end up 
uh, doing something on that. How far do you plan on taking this walkthrough? I plan on making this my main account, essentially. I'm going to do pretty much everything there is to do in the game. Except for buying crowns and, and like bundles and stuff like that. When I reach level 30, I am going to grind for Zeus. Actually, I'm not going to grind too hard for Zeus gear. I'm going to try to get at least full Senator's gear because even the Senator's gear is pretty good. But the main reason you do Mount Olympus is for getting, you know, decent gear and for um, getting the Sky Iron Hosta. Yeah, this is going to be a very long running series. I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon. Alright, so... Yeah, the, the, this is technically the maximum amount of buffs I have. Let's calculate how much damage that does. 375 times 0.4 times 1.3 times probably 1.2. It does 819 damage if he has 20% life boost. 818, okay. I guess um I was only off by one, but according to the calculator it should have done that much. Alright, let's see. We just got a field guard to deal with. So I'm just gonna blade, trap, and ghoul. So, Kepper, um, I'm actually, for fights that are, like, pretty much, like, that are going to be either impossible or unnecessarily long and difficult to do, I'm probably going to end up finding people to do it with, but I'm going to try to show people, like, you know, what are good ways to look for people to do certain fights. You can't wait until you can subscribe to me. Thank you very much, uh, Niz uh, Nizzle. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I have to stream for two more days before I unlock the... Or is it three? It's actually three more days after today. But yeah, after I do that, I will be able to apply for Twitch Affiliate. And once you do that, you can unlock the, the subscriber button and the Twitch Prime button. What am I going to be spending my training points on? For now, I'm going to try to just spend them on ice to tower shield. And I really don't want to spend them too much. I'm lucky to be on a death wizard because you don't have to spend the training points on faint. So. Lord Nightshade spell. It would have been cool if I ended up getting a dropped piece of crowns gear, but I think it also would have been kind of... A little bit ridiculous if I got it because then that means for quite a while I have this really OP piece of gear that majority of people that are also doing this will likely not get right away so but if you want you can stop at you Lord Nightshade and farm Lord for the high health 2% resist giving crowns gear the journal you recovered unlock the door with a skeleton key and investigate what lies beyond Ooh. beware this is actually not that much of an improvement i, fear I might end up just selling this because it gives gold door. all right we got a wooden key to get behind the waterfall to get to night side hey echo 3x3 how are you doing today Yeah, young Morganth might end up being impossible. It's... It's like... G. Nixel? G. Nixel, okay, there we go. That's, that's the right way to pronounce it. Infection. We might as well get this. This is a very good spell for PvP. 
but I just want to make sure I don't have it in my deck. All right, explore the death school. I get a new spell. What do I get? Hello there, Probably curse Alfred. or something what? like that, right? I suppose I should get out more often. What do I get? Actually, it probably isn't curse. It's probably just some random spell I don't end up using. Oh, do a lot of people farm young Morgant? Yeah, if, if people are farming young Morgant, obviously I'm going to still try to find a team that's like lower level. I, I prefer not to I do it with 130s that, that are just going to one shot it. So. Do keep its location. Malister, apparently. Oh, young oh, sacrifice. Okay, okay that's the spell I get. So I actually do get the healing here. spell. You will need these spies. I wish you well and good speed on your journey. You must find that book before Malister does. If not, he'll destroy the spiral and everything. Okay, so I've leveled up to level 10. I've officially hands, unlocked Crocotopia as soon as I get to Bartleby, but I still have to finish this right here, so I'm just gonna quickly define the Smith's quest. Finish up this quest, get some XP, get another training point. Oh, do I really have to finish? I guess I have to finish that. Shouldn't I have a blood bat as my pet so I can get my gen one? So the way my pet copying guide is designed, you definitely need a lot of gold to start off with to be able to do it. So I don't because like for this series, because I want to get that gloomy eye as fast as possible. My main goal is not even to get a great pet right away. It's to try to get like a gloomy eye, a pet that gives me a useful card right away. Like having a death blade plus a death humongo frog spell. That is more important to me right now than trying to get the absolute perfect pet for, for questing. All right, so I will get, I get the Colossus Boulevard. Oh yeah, that's right. You do get it from Ambrose. Let me actually go get that real quick. Yeah, what does young Morganth drop? I've never heard of people farming her. Colossal trouble, here it is. I don't think any of these other quests are super important to do right now, so. Brainy assistant? Um. So I do appreciate the offer echo, but I think for to make this pet, since I, this is also kind of a tutorial, I would rather hatch with the kiosk because that is also one of those things that, you know, people might not be able to find other people easily, so. came from but they eat every i admire you wizards my niece studies ice magic at ravenwood but i'm worried about her all right i'm gonna do a little trick here watch this i don't want to accept this quest because it doesn't give you the for after that point it becomes a quote-unquote main quest so it forces you to accept it but if you teleport away while you're talking to him You'll still have the gate unlocked because of the gate you unlock from just talking to him for the first time and completing that quest. But the quest after that, it starts you with the main quest line. So I'm going to teleport out of there so I don't have to hit OK. And then even though this gate looks locked, I can still walk through it. Yeah, or, or I could have just quit, but I did not want to risk losing connect. Dude, whoever said this looks nice, this does look nice. This looks this looks awesome. Yeah, this place looks pretty sick. Brady, Brainy gives Colossal Frog and Deathblade. I think the Gloomy Eye does as well. Um, wait, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, that's right. I have to walk all the way. Awesome, dude. They added teleporters here. I'm so glad they did that. It was so annoying having to walk all the way to the end to get the smith. Here it is, right there. All right, time to talk to Prospector Zeke.
New spell. Well, tarnation, you Oh yeah, that's right. I'm level 10. I have to I have to get Banshee. Probably go get that. Hold on, really quickly. I am going to switch to a much quieter realm. It is a little loud here. Yeah, I have reshuffle and colossal spulvard. Um, I'll end up getting that, but for now, I don't think it's. I don't really need it just yet. So, I'll get it after. Yeah, real quick before I go into Crocotopia. Let's get. Banshee. Vampire at level 16. Alright, so what are we going to do with the deck here? I should probably end up getting a better deck now. This one is a little bit small. I guess for now what I'll do is just remove one ghoul. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now that people know what realm I'm in, everyone's trying to add me. We'll go with that for spells for now. I should probably get rid of one dark sprite just because I have a thunder snake. We'll go with that for our deck setup for now. I think that's good enough. Kind of talk to William as well. That's true. Stop following me. <laughs> Welcome, Effendi. We have been cursed ever since the one you called Malice. Please speak with a Sergeant Major in the Oasis if you would help rid us of this Malice Stare person. What did he say? Oh yeah, that's true. Now, now everyone's following. I got the level 10 school shield? No, what I should ho? probably get that. Greetings, youngster. What ho? Sergeant Major Sylvester Order of the Fang? I think I heard you'll find Professor Winthrop inside the pyramid. Perhaps All right, let's go talk to William, finally. Try to keep him safe. Unstoppable on a pet good. Unstoppable, it's not a bad, it's it's a pretty good enchantment. Um, But mm. in terms of like questing, I, uh, the damage enchantments are definitely better. I can help. So, me. I need you to go and make two rings, <sighs> two rings of insight. Let's see how you know what you're doing. how expensive this is. Talk. Okay. Um, stone blocks are definitely going to be a challenge. Parchment might be a challenge. These two, I'm pretty sure I can just buy off of him. Let's go to J. We can unequip the dagger of absolution now. Now, whenever I press my crafting thing, this will be the first thing that pops up. So I need two citrines. And 12 simple vials. Oh, that's right. You're the reagent vendor. That's going to cost like all of my gold. All right. The rest of it, I'll just get off of uh, picking parchment up off the ground. So... For the starting Krakatopia, I'm just going to accept the crafting quest at the beginning of the world and do them as I go along. Gotta get on the friends list and make history. Well, hello again, young wizard. Yep. All right, time to find the beetles. I think, yeah, the first one's right here. Oh my goodness. I don't I don't want you to show me where they are. I know where they are. At least I think I do. Uh it's like it's like around here. It's one of these two islands. Oh actually that teleporter is open. I do want to go there and mark a location real quick. Because there's only I'm pretty sure it's only like a certain time of day. That or it's like every hour that you can go up here. Oh wait, is this the secret shop? No, I don't think this is the secret. No, this is not the secret shop. Never mind. 
two hours in the stream yeah we're the stream is two hours uh but i i always start it like five minutes earlier just just so that people have time to get in here um yeah i'm in the wrong one but the stream will officially end at like 4 p.m so in terms of actual gameplay time it will be two hours in just a few minutes I am happy that I did end up completing Wizard City. It shouldn't have taken us this long, but that's mainly because I spent a little bit too much time in the last episode doing it, so. Okay, what am I doing? I love how I totally just rejected his help on finding the second beetle. I don't even remember where it is. It's behind the building with the stairs, so it's like back here? No, I don't think it's back here. Oh! Speaking of back here, we got two stone blocks. Good thing I didn't find the beetle right away. I would never have seen those stone blocks. Two stone blocks for free if I didn't get it. Alright. Let's go to the Altar of the Kings. Stream is coming to a close soon here. We do have some time left. How close is my pet to adult? Okay, we're getting there. Come in, come in. When the All right, this is where things will start to pick up a little bit because now I'm forced to fight two at a time. I'm going to get the beetle which is down here. I knew he was going to add me. What is a Dragoon's Helmet person doing in Crocotopia? My friends, this is going to fill up real quick. Am I going to do Marleybone or Grizzleheim at level 20? I'm going to do Marleybone because Grizzleheim, I, ooh, I got Nightshade from that one. Grizzleheim is going to be something that I'm going to wait until I complete Dragon Spire to do. Just because I like doing Grizzleheim and Winter Tusk, I like doing it all at once. I feel like it would be easier for me to do all the other worlds and then like just quickly speed through Grizzleheim and then get to Winter Tusk. Because then I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to, I will have Scarecrow. Actually, will I have Scarecrow? I don't know. Maybe. You make the rubbings. Don't end the stream. This is my only entertainment. I, I would love to stream further. And like, honestly, on days where I don't have work, I, I don't have to end the stream as soon as... As soon as the two hours is up, I can like stream other Wizard 101 stuff or even other games, depending on what y'all want to see. Uh, obviously, I, I'm still going to keep this series only two hours a day, but I do have work today at five, so I still have to upload this stream after, and then I also have to get ready for work. So unfortunately, I can't stream any longer today after I do finish this, but just gonna talk to Professor Winthrop and I think we'll call it today. These Might need help on Nadavalier. Um I actually I'll see. I feel like Nadavalier is is doable, like once I'm have completed Dragon Spire. Perhaps this order has some while I was Alright, so let's just do a level check. We got all the way to level 10 today. Did complete Wizard City and started Crocotopia a little bit. Still low on gold. I am going to end up getting a mount, but anyways, I want to thank all of you who were able to tune into the live stream today. Thank you so much for all the support you've shown on the videos. This will also be published on YouTube in case you missed part of the stream or whatever. And yeah, 
I will be streaming this again tomorrow. I stream this Monday through Thursday, including Saturday from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern time. And I will be here tomorrow. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye.